Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to store image files in your SQLite database in your Android app. So let's begin. I will also show how to insert, update and delete this object from your database. So let's create a simple uh, database image file in SQLite uh, database. You can name this app anything. I think this name has become a pretty long, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, that uh, this is the name we have given to this app. And once your app comes up, uh, or once your ID loads up, it should look like this. So before we begin, I will quickly update something in manifest file. So I will like to update that in my emulator, I have already downloaded or stored a couple of image files, which I'll show once the emulator comes up. And we will be accessing those files to store it in our uh, uh, database. Yeah, so once these necessary permissions are given in a, or stated in manifest file, we will also ensure that we take these permissions uh, from our users in our uh, uh, app. So on, on create method itself, we will do this new stream. And the permissions which we will need is Manifest dot permission dot for external writing. Oh, probably we don't need to write to external storage, but still it's better to have that permission. And the other one which we will need is to read. Yes, perfect. Okay, apart from of course package manager dot permission granted. Yes. So this line will be responsible to ensure that we have the access to our uh, phone memory and we can access those files uh, which can be used to uh, store in our database. And also we before I Proceed. I will quickly create a new class which will be my SQLite. Uh, you can name it anything. So I can name it SQLite database handler. Again, I repeat, you can name this class anything. But the point here is we have to extend it to ensure that we include a SQLite open helper class uh, here, and it will show you certain uh, error, and that's because you have to implement these methods and also I think it will ask you to implement a constructor you can just choose the default one and I think more or less our database class is ready as well like uh, database which we can use in our main java code perfect okay before I get into the main java code uh, we will quickly design our uh, UI so by default the text view is there I think I'll keep this text view to show the status so I'll just name it as a status as this id and what else we will need is we will need probably uh, another text uh, plain text uh, box where we will take the input from the user and this will be the file name so I can just or enter file name here enter file name perfect and this is like a hint and uh, perfect so yeah and apart from that I will add few buttons uh, just like say for example to insert uh, uh, update and all those things so one by one I'll just add the button so this is for insert which is inserting in the database so for the timing just uh, keep uh, viewing it because uh, we'll be using all these buttons in the on click attribute later on in our code so we'll show what does it really means of all these buttons apart from that what else we'll need is probably we'll need a button for deletion so I can just put it delete and uh, the last button is to fetch the things from database to get it to retrieve so we can name this button as probably fetch okay so yeah so this will fetch uh, the things from database and we will have to show that somewhere so i will also put an image view and i think i'll just take this default one and i will expand it so we will show our output on this particular image view over here and that's all pretty much is what I feel we can just quickly create or uh, fix this uh, warnings so you have to mostly it will prompt you or give you hints so that's that's a good part of Android studio you don't have to do much it will automatically create the resource you have to just click keep clicking these fix buttons and what are all things we have used in our uh, app it will get fixed yes perfect 
I think there is one more hard protects and once we fix this everything should be done yeah so there is no more warning perfect so I'll also run this in the emulator in the meantime because I also want to show you the two files which is already there okay so emulator has come up if you can see and it's asking me to allow the permission to get the files from device click on allow if you don't allow it won't be able to fetch those things so this is the U layout which you have designed just now perfect and good and I'll also quickly show you the files these two files I have downloaded and kept it in my downloads folder so that's what I will access in the code uh, and this is the file name where you can either choose of, of course if you have more files you can uh, uh, yeah toggle between them but in this uh, tutorial I'll just show you between these two files so one is the mountain view and other is the bird view okay Perfect. So I think more or less uh, our uh, structure is ready and we will start into the Java code, we will jump into it. So what all we will need is, we will need uh, first few uh, class objects which will point to the uh, side name, or to the widgets which we have added in our uh, layout. So one is edit text and then this is text view, a status, this is so a status and the other one will probably the image view so these are the three uh, uh, widgets which we have added and in on create method itself we will assign it to the respective uh, id uh, dot id dot edit text person name i don't know why this comes as a person name or probably what we can do it is in uh, xml if you go here we can change it to pers from person name to probably uh, i don't know why i'm not able to okay i think i was in a wrong place so i'll change it from person name to say for number file name because that's what we will be taking here update all yeah of course click yes because this will also take care of the changes over here if you noticed it auto automatically changed here so that's what the smartness of this is uh, under actually i really like it for that reason and okay so this should be fine view by id r dot id dot text view status that's what we have used and the last one is image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view perfect so apart from that we will also need need few uh, public uh, methods so say for example this will be for button insert so we have four buttons i think we will make uh, four public uh, methods which we will connect or associate with the on click attribute of those buttons so one by one i will first create for all four button update Perfect and what else I will need is public white button delete and the last one will be for the button fetch. Perfect. So right now I am of course creating a empty methods. We will put the functionality later on. I just want to first complete it from the layout perspective. Yes. I go back to my XML file or layout. And one by one for each button, uh, if you scroll down here in the on click attribute, you just select the respective button, so button insert. And that's why if you have noticed, I have tried to keep, keep the name same because it really helps over here. When you are mapping it, it you can quickly uh, identify which button is for what and you don't have to worry about that. You can, you can use any other uh, algorithm also over here, but this is the simplest and easiest way to follow. So insert, update, delete and fetch. Perfect. All the four buttons are associated to the respective methods here. And yeah, that's all. Now we can start and try to create our database variable. So for database variable, we will use our class and that will be uh, the SQLite uh, database handler what we have created. And we will create the object for that over here. So this will be new and then my SQL uh, database handler and the arguments will be first will be context so this will be of course the present context and the second is string name so this is the name of my database you can give any name here probably we are focusing on the image so i'll just name it as image database and the third one is uh, the uh, factory so i'll just put it null and the version you can put in any number is fine i'll just put it one and once we have done it then probably we could also what we can do is we can create another uh, variable and this will be SQLite database so this is the main database which will 
in which our database will reside and this will uh, for this we will use the our handlers which we had just now created so dot get writable database of course and then we can uh, <coughs> create our uh, whatever tables or something in this so I think we can do it in uh, other methods also but I will prefer that in own create method at least we create the basic table where we will be writing it so we can use something like we can directly execute an S uh, SQL SQL query and little bit of SQL knowledge is required here if you uh, yeah want to do this otherwise you can just do quickly Google and you will get lots of tutorials on SQL as well so so here we will be using uh, the table name uh, whatever table you want to create, uh, do so create table table name and then in the brackets for parenthesis you have to give the uh, respective fields or columns which you want to create so say for example uh, one column I want to create is with the name uh, of the image and the second one will be probably the image and this is important you have to create it as a blob uh, type and uh, so that, that's that's the key part here uh, you can't use any particular uh, simple text or uh, any numerical form so this is what you have to use to uh, store blocks so what we will do is we will convert our image into bitmap and then into byte and that's how we will be storing it in this database so that's all is what I feel probably uh, what I will do is I will just uh, encapsulate or surround this uh, part into try catch and the reason for that is pretty simple I'll just run. so the reason for that is uh, because uh, the try catch will help you in case this database already exists and uh, you reopen your app so then in that case this uh, try catch will uh, be able to uh, handle that uh, exception uh, respectively yeah you can do anything with this exception i mean i'm just uh, putting it in the stack trace to create a log but it's not required literally okay so perfect so apart from that what else we can do is now we can start our main uh, method so here first and foremost we will uh, get our file which I have already shown you in the emulator so these files we have to get so for that what we will do is we will just create our probably the string file path yeah you can name anything this variable again I am repeating so and that we will take is using this uh, get external storage uh, probably I don't know why it's uh, deprecated but yeah we will use this get path and then what we'll do is we will probably uh, concatenate uh, the respective folder to this so the folder name is download make sure the spelling is correct otherwise yes and uh, after download it should be yeah no we will be taking the file name uh, because it may be between a, any of those file names by using this particular uh, variable so we we'll use that edit text file name dot get text dot probably to string yeah perfect and the extension probably we will add it manually so it's jpeg file and that's what we'll add and that's all what I guess we'll, uh, we'll do of course let's see if it works uh, hope it works and now we will convert this particular uh, file the image file what we get over here into a bitmap so we will just create quickly our bitmap and this will be nothing but bitmap factory dot decode file and here we will give the file path we just now created above so now here we have got our uh, image file in the bitmap format no, here is the tricky part. We have to convert this bitmap into the bytes. So for that, what we'll use is we'll probably use first the byte array output stream. Perfect. And this will be nothing but this new uh, byte array output stream. And no, we'll use this uh, uh, byte array output stream in, in our compress. We'll compress the bitmap. And to compress, you can use any format. Uh, probably JPG also, but my experience says PNG will be better. So we'll use the PNG. Uh, method here and then the quality probably could be zero and the stream what we just defined above that will use so no this will get converted into the uh, bytes uh, in this particular variable and finally we will create another variable uh, bytes image and we will convert or we will just have the byte array output stream to byte array perfect so now we have uh, we have converted our uh, image into the bytes and that's what we will use to 
save it in our uh, database so we will just create now the content values uh, content values content values so this is uh, yeah and yeah to save it in our database and now one by one we can put the key and the respective value so we have two keys here first is the name and the other one is the image so probably first i will put the name and i will i'm hard coding the name here but uh, i will uh, suggest that uh, you guys can take this also as an input from the ui from the layout from the user but over here i'm just hard coding it uh, for simplicity okay and then the other content values could be uh, probably again put and uh, name will be this time image because this is the second uh, field we have and uh, probably this time i can use my byte image what i have just created above so this should do and then once we have it then we can use this content values to insert in our database so let's collect database dot insert this should be an insert and then the first one is a table name where we want to insert that is in the string format and our table name is image table so we can use that image table sorry and then the second one is of course uh, i'll just put it null because we can just uh, yeah and then the content values which we just now created above perfect so now this will insert the things in our database probably we, what we can also use is we can use our status text to just say uh, insert successful you can uh, use anything over here perfect so I think more or less our uh, insert method is done. We can move to the next method, and it may surprise you, but for update uh, the more or less the code will remain uh, almost same, or I can say exactly same, uh, except for instead of uh, insert we have to use that update uh, in this. Uh, in this database and if you see the update uh, syntax it first asks for the content values so i think null won't be accepted here and content values and then i think it's asking for the where clause which we can probably put null and the last one also null so that's fine and this status we can change from insert to update successful perfect for delete uh, the code will be pretty much simple and straightforward so for delete what we'll use is we will just SQL database dot delete perfect and here the first one is again the table name so table name is nothing but image table as we have defined above and then the second one is uh, so the second argument is a where clause so in where clause we can put like uh, if the name or something yeah so name our uh, matches equal to probably we'll have to use the escape character over here my image then delete that particular thing and i think that's all and yeah last one is argument so i can just put null no i think there's something mistake i did and probably it was this one yes perfect so over here if you uh, i will just repeat what i have done so i'm just putting name equal to my image and this escape character i have given because this inverted comma should also go as an sql query for this yeah so if this is successful i should print something like in a text view but probably for that i will have to check whether this is successful or not so i just check whether this is greater than zero and if so then what we should do is we should uh, set text deletion uh, successful uh, deletion successful successful perfect Okay, so now last is the button fetch, and this is a bit, uh, yeah. Uh, here we have to create our own uh, query. So, first I will create our string, uh, which I will name this string query, and we will just run it as a SQL command. So, I will just create uh, the query here select image. So, image is uh, the uh, field. Uh, so, select the image from the table name, and table name is nothing but I think image table is a table name where and now this where clause I think probably I can put it as it is what I have printed here so name equals to again I'll have to probably put a escape character here my image yes that's all I think uh, I may not have to use a space here so this query if we can run in our database 
SQLite database dot Azure row query. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the first argument will be of course the query just now we have created. So this will be a string query, and the second argument we can put it as no. perfect. Okay, so what we can do it is we can take the output of this in the form of a, a cursor, cursor, cursor. Uh, problem. Oh, I can just put cursor equal to perfect. And now what I will do is further I will just uh, use this cursor uh, to get our output. So move to first because normally what happens is. When there is a list of query, it will move to the last uh, point, and so we have to make sure that uh, we move to the first. And uh, most likely, it will have only one particular uh, entry because we are just uh, hard coding here uh, as uh, one particular field. Uh, this one, my image. So most likely, we will have only one particular entry, but it's always good to go to the first one. And once we are in the first one, then what we'll do is we will extract the output from this one. So byte, uh, byte, so probably image cursor dot get blob perfect and index should be the zeroth index the like the first index from where the, we can move the cursor and then we can probably move close the cursor we don't need it anymore and we have got our output in bytes image so now our job is to convert these bytes in uh, uh, into the bitmap so bitmap probably I can just use bitmap image and bitmap factory dot decode the bytes so we can decode the byte array and the first argument will be of course the bytes image what we have used above and the second argument will be offset so offset will be zero and then the length will be we can quickly find the length of this array by using the length command perfect so over here we got our image in this uh, bit image what now we can do it is we can uh, print it or we can put it in the image view so image view dot set image uh, bitmap yeah we can use this and we can then use the bitmap image to show or display whatever has been extracted from the database and at the end probably we can just quickly uh, update our status that yeah fetch successful perfect and yeah that's so i think probably what i'll do is i'll also in, uh, encapsulate this in a try catch it's always good to have and why I am doing this uh, try catch over here is because uh, uh, this cursor many times when you do move to first and if cursor returns null it may crash over here so it's always good to encapsulate uh, this part in a try catch and in the catch I'll just catch an exception and that's all I think in catch I don't need the exception because I will be pretty much knowing what why the exception is there, there but I can just print error over here and yeah okay so that's all from code perspective let me quickly rerun this uh, in our emulator and see how it uh, comes up in the meantime I'm just uh, making my code a little bit better I don't like the spread uh, so much of spread okay so I think our code is there in the emulator now Yes, so I'm uh, running it on the emulator. In the meantime, I just want to, I'm verifying the code itself. And what I can see over here is, uh, if I go up, so the place where we are creating our uh, table, I think the spelling, there is a spelling mistake of this particular uh, column. So we have to make sure that the uh, spelling is correct. So that's why it's sometimes advisable to also do a copy paste. Anyway, so I think uh, other parts of the code look fine. And I'll just uh, remove it. And uh, our app is app has come up as expected. So I'll just uh, start. So as I told or, or as I showed, there are two images uh, which I have downloaded. So one is one I have named named it as bird and the other one is mountain. So I did insert and it says insert successful. Now if we click fetch, uh, it's fetching the. Uh, I think I have to do update and yeah perfect so now I can see the bird has been uh, fished here and if I now do a mountain and if I click update I am pretty sure it will fetch me a, a mountain here perfect 
So I think insert it didn't work because we already inserted mountain first and then we were trying uh, to insert again. So insert won't work. That time I had to use update uh, to be honest. Or what we can also try is we will just probably first delete where deletion is successful. And now if you try to fetch anything, it's giving an error. Nothing is happening here because uh, we are just uh, 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 putting it uh, over here and we are coming to the exception part. So this part is uh, remaining untouched in the code. That's why. And if you do know insert or uh, probably what I should have done is probably let me first do the deletion and no bird insert. And now if I do fetch, I'm expecting bird to come up and that's what it came here. Perfect. So that's all I wanted to show you. The code is pretty much simple of inserting, deleting, uh, updating and fetching. And yeah, so yeah. And uh, over here, I'll just repeat that I showed, it, showed you this example with only two uh, images, but you can do it with uh, n number of images. And the only key area and one area probably which you can think of is over here. I hard coded. I just kept one row and I hard coded my entry as uh, my image, uh, the name. But you can take this also as an input from the user and then create a list of the uh, images in your SQL database. So that's all. I hope uh, this is a useful uh, tutorial for you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.